This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The other thing I want to bring up and, uh, well, it sort of jumped out at me. I think when all these layoffs happen, guys get nervous because it makes the observer and I'm sure you're going to poke holes in it. But I don't think we've ever talked about it. Quote, while this sounds like a time for the NWA to make a move, don't expect it to happen. While there are Titan employees who may be talking either formally or informally, it's no secret that Bobby Heenan seriously negotiated with Jim Hurd a few weeks back. The Turner organization is feeling its own financial strain coming off the multi-million dollar losses of the Goodwill games, blah, blah, blah. Bobby Heenan talked to Jim Hurd that, that I had no idea. Did you hear of this? Nope. So you, you, you just freestyle. That's bullshit. I'll free, freestyle it because 99% of the shit that comes out of his mouth is bullshit. So why should that be any different? But I, I can't tell you one way or another, you know, yes or no, that it happened. I, I don't know. Never heard that. Let's talk about your old pal, Dick Glover. And, 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 and let me say this too. And to that point, when Bobby did negotiate with WCW, I did know that. I knew that before Vince knew that because Bobby and I were close and Bobby, uh, did share those kind of things with me. So I think that if that had happened, I probably I think Bobby would have confided that in me, which makes me doubt it. Let's talk about something that's happening, uh, with counter programming. I, I stopped there because we wanted to thank everybody who helped with the Sobe water, but Crockett's out now it's Turner, but we're still head to head whenever we get a chance. And you're actually gearing up for a battle head to head with the NWA on October 27th. This time it's going down in Chicago. And the WWF is going to be at the horizon, which will be head to head with the Halloween havoc pay-per-view. And they're going to have, uh, well, as you know, they've got sting and Sid vicious on top and well, lots of interesting stuff on the undercard, but you guys are counter programming it and putting out some big stars, ultimate warrior versus Randy Savage, dusty Rhodes versus Ted DiBiase boss man versus rude Tito Santana versus barbarian Davy boy versus Haku. Heart foundations on the card against rhythm and blues. Either way, you're not exactly loading the show up because there's no Hogan, but still you're counter programming a pay-per-view. This is, uh, interesting. And I, I want to talk about it. You've got, you know, Crockett out of here. Does Vince just still have a burr in his saddle about any wrestling promotion running pay-per-view and he wants to counter program it just because. No, it's competition and it's business. So you want to go head to head? Let's go head to head. We've done that a few times. Well, they did the same thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's business. Well, here's the thing. They weren't going head to head. You made them go head to head. That's what I'm trying to pull out. No, of we you. didn't. Nobody made them go head to head. That was their choice. What to run a pay-per-view. Yeah. But they announced before you says who? Oh gosh. Okay. Let's keep it going. What, Dave Meltzer said that. All right. Let's hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.